Okay, just for the first bit of this video, I'm holding this camera in my hand and I'm conscious I've got so much I want to say about this, um, about today, that I don't want it to run over too much because I know a lot of you won't watch it because I obviously you have got other things to do, I don't expect you to sit and listen to me for hours, but anyway, that's chit chat that doesn't need to be here. So on the left is my finished cloth and on the right is my cloth I'm creating for my new class which is starting in March. Um, and the one on the right is different to the one on the left. The one on the left is all white. I'll move in. Okay. It's all white, purely white on white. Nothing in there apart from white. The one I'm doing for my new class, you'll have seen it on my blog, has got the little bits of colour in it that I've been doing with cross stitch, etc. And also little French knots um, and little petals and stuff. So this is my new cloth, this one's for me, I'm keeping this one all for myself, so that's where I am so far with that, but this won't be finished until I start my new class because I want to work more on it and complete it within the framework of that class along with the people who are going to take that class. So that's why I'm going to put this to one side now um, and it won't be worked on again until my new class starts and then every process that happens with this cloth will happen as part of that group so that the people within that class get to see it and share in the processes and share in my thought processes of creating this cloth and why I put what I do, where I put it and why I choose this stitch or that stitch, that technique, this technique and how I feel about those things. Um, very, very involved um, my wrapping cloth classes because there's so much history and so much emotion and thought goes into each wrapping cloth then all that will be discussed in the class. So you might not see this um, in this form, in this kind of depth now, for a while till it's finished. So I'll we'll move from that and go to my brother's cloth. And I think I'm going to keep the camera in my hand because it'll be so much easier to show you. What I particularly love about this cloth is these prairie points along the edge. And I love about them the most the fact that they don't go all the way to the bottom now that was a conscious decision I decided to add a little bit of something unexpected that those points would only go so far down that side and in places they would be laid like here with smaller ones and bigger ones behind and in other places they would be singular points like these big ones here so and you can see on here all the different stitches there's cross stitch the circles of web stitches and French knots. Um, I've got handbound buttonholes, got cross stitch again, more web stitches, cross stitch text, which is the names of the people who the cloth is for. I've got patchwork over here. I've got applique, padded applique. I've got cut work in some of the seams. I've got little loops sticking out um, there. I've got more applique over here, so masses and masses of bullion knots, so many bullion knots on seams, there's one, there's one, another one up here, I can't, I mean maybe I should count these bullion knots because there are so very many of them down here, bullion knots going all the way around there, over here, bullion knots all the way up there and down there, and then along there, I mean I couldn't possibly count how many bullion knots, more cross stitch here, I've got frilly bits, lacy bits that are free, um, not tacked down or stitched down, so that's it really, so if I just slowly move this over, and there is photographs of this as well, um, I just slowly move this camera around and then you can look perhaps in more detail at this cloth. This ribbon, I'm not a ribbon person, but that ribbon was on the vintage cloth that I've used for this area, so I left it there because it lives with that cloth, it's part of the history of that cloth, so that's why that's there. Um, and you can see more of it there. Over here, I didn't make this, that's off a vintage cloth, I wish, I wish I could make something like that. So that isn't mine. Um, and then all the down, all the hand stitching, cross stitching, embroidery, more applique. So yeah, so that's it. That is that cloth finished. And I'll move back a bit because I can't move out anymore with the camera. I'm fully scanned. And that's how it looks. 
and I'm absolutely over the moon with it and it'll be gone tomorrow um, Royal Mail will have to take very good care of this to get it all the way across the sea okay so I hope you like that